Muammar Gaddafi took control of Libya back in 1969. Throughout his reign, he has been linked to terrorist activities in both Arab and non-Arab countries. CBS News correspondent Mark Phillips is in London this morning with more on the brutal dictator. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Erica. Well, that Muammar Gaddafi is hanging on to power comes as no surprise to anyone who has watched him over the years. Even compared to other Mr. Middle Eastern strongmen, he's always been a leader like no other. Muammar Gaddafi's appearance last night was entirely in character for a man whose eccentricity hides a ruthless and calculating nature that has kept him in power for more than four decades. Alternating between comic opera military costumes and Bedouin robes, Gaddafi's change in foreign posture has not been matched by a relaxing of his iron grip on power at home. The man who took power in a 1969 coup when he was a 27-year-old army captain, who justified and supported terrorist movements around the world for decades, whose country is blamed for the 1988 Lockerbie bombing, later declared an end to his own isolation by cancelling his nuclear weapons program and becoming an ally of the West in the fight against terror. The truth is nobody accepts actions against civilian targets and downing civilian planes. But Gaddafi's newfound respectability hasn't diminished his knack for the dramatic. Many saw his rambling speech to the UN in 2009, in which he tore up the UN charter and insulted his hosts as a vintage performance. It should not be called the Security Council, it should be called the Terror Council. At home, Muammar Gaddafi was a contradiction as well. He described himself as the leader of a revolution whose power came from the people, but the people knew who was in charge until now. Erica? Mark Phillips in London. Mark, thanks.